Uh, hello guys, uh, AJ here, I'm back again with another video. Uh, today we're gonna install a, a go-kart seat for my uh, cart, obviously. And um, as you can see here, this seat is done. It's, uh, it pretty much has all these cracks in here. It's only a matter of time before uh, my ass uh, skid on the tarmac. So. And that's the reason why I'm replacing it with this new uh, seat. But before we get into, uh, you know, changing the seat, I want to talk about a little bit about um, some of the some of the ways to uh, install the seats and uh, positioning it. Uh, that's probably the most important part of uh, installing a seat is um, the positioning of it. Uh, typically, when you buy a go kart. Um, from a uh, let's say a local uh, shop, y you might want to ask them to install it for you because uh, they know the recommended settings for the seat. So that's why it's very important um, to know that. Or when you buy the brand new chassis, uh, normally it comes with a manual, and in that manual you have a a, um, a direction on what uh, degrees of uh, angle you need to place the seats uh, however we don't have that so um, yeah we're gonna do the best we can main thing uh, really when you're installing a seat so when you install it a little bit forward you have more grip on the front and then when you slide it back a little bit you actually have more grip on the back and uh, the higher your seat is up the more grip the lower it is I guess uh, a little bit more slippery uh, it, it has it, it's really a lot of uh, dependent on the go-kart you have um, like this is a Tony kart chassis and all of the manufacturers have different setups so but that's just the basics of it so anyway um, yeah let's uh, let's show you what you're gonna need to um, to install it tools you need so the wooden plank here we're gonna put down the bottom so we want to make sure that we're not um, having it so low that your seat it will be uh, you know skidding on the tarmac you'll need a um, electric drill with the drill bit it's I think 516 drill bit a half uh, of one half or I think it's 10 mil with metrics for um, the uh, yeah that <laughs> and then uh, a T Allen wrench. Uh, you'll need plates for the uh, the matting the seats and spacers. And lastly, the uh, sharpie. So we're gonna mark uh, where we're gonna drill. So that's uh, all right. Um, actually, I forgot to mention. So when you're putting your seat mount make sure you have a uh, metal plates because uh, if you have like a rubber one uh, really when you mount the seat uh, it transfer weight to the uh, tires so you want to make sure you have uh, a stiff uh, seats to go with it along with um, the right uh, spacers and uh, you know the, the plates so you you know you want to have it to where you can transfer the uh, the weight if you have a rubber uh, piece here, you you would actually would keep the um, the weight transfer away. You want to transfer the weight through the tires by uh, putting all this uh, metal plates and uh, plastic uh, spacers. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and install the seat. Alright guys, as you, as you can see, it's pretty easy to remove the seat. All I do is take, uh, see the matting spots for the seats. Uh, you just pretty much remove the screws and also on the uh, on the seat struts. And then the seat comes off. 
Now the next step is to put the plank in the bottom of your uh, chassis. So you, you can uh, once you're gonna put your new seat in there, and uh, we're gonna sit it. And that's when we have to uh, do some magic. All right. All right, guys. <clears throat> as, you, as you can see, uh, put the plank here with uh, zip ties to uh, secure it. Um, this thing is as, is as flat as a pancake, which is good because that's how we're gonna, we're gonna put the seat here to measure or to um, make sure it's leveled. And that's the main thing why we we put that in there. And uh, also, we're gonna use it as a guide. Uh, to move um, this seat around, and that's probably the most important part of uh, installing a racing seat, uh, the go kart seat is uh, making sure um, you have the right positioning uh, accord in accordance to the uh, manual for your specific chassis. Um, typically, you would move this back and forth, uh, adjusting the angle with a tool. To make sure if it's whatever angle it is uh, in the manual, that's what you'll put in there. And also, <clears throat> you're gonna use, uh, I forgot to mention earlier, this uh, tape right here, measuring tape, to measure from the spindle all the way up to this uh, middle part, the top part of uh, your uh, seat. Uh, there's a certain uh, distance it needs to be uh, in accordance to, in, in the manual so uh, yeah you guys need to look that up ain't nobody got time for that and once you're done with that and then that's when you'll uh, use the sharpie to mark the holes that you're gonna drill on all four matting uh, you know the, the matting points you're gonna mark it so that you can have a idea of where to drill so so uh, let's do that two hours later all right so once you drill the holes like I did I marked it and then drilled it to the mounting points we're ready to um, put the uh, spacers and screw and the bolt uh, on, on, the, on it to secure it so Let's do that. So uh, there you have it, folks. Seats installed. Um, pretty snug in there. You know, just follow the uh, the mining points and uh, screw it in there, and you are done. Looks pretty good. And uh, all right, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, hope to see you soon.